So the first thing we're gonna do is check out this porch because it is really good. As you can see, there's chandeliers on the porch. You got these windows above the entrance. See what you got right here too. And then you come over here to the other side and you got this old school baby carriage that is really, really cool. Check that out. And then the architecture to this place, you'll hear me say that a lot. Can't help it, it's amazing. So before we get started, I do wanna give y'all the history. So this house was built in the very late 1800s, the 90s to be specific. And it was actually first owned by the guy that founded the town that this house is in. So we're talking late 1800s, early 1900s era around that. His family owned the house, you know, for a while, uh, through a few generations, I believe. And it was eventually sold to somebody else who now currently owns it as privately owned. And the last family that was here just completely left everything. It's crazy. This house was actually added to the National Historic Records in the late 1980s. So yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. All right, we've made it inside of this beautiful house. Look at this architecture in here. There's so much to look at in here. I'm gonna show y'all the front door. Look at that. All the pictures up here still. Nothing too interesting in there. Check out this staircase we got up here. This is amazing. Here's like a little back view of this room. Um, what did you say? What did you say? Check out all this stuff. There's so much stuff to look at in here. This ain't even a funeral home and Obama's in here. I'm guessing this is the family right here. I'm gonna go upstairs. Check this out. This must be the family right here. I know this house in its heyday was just beautiful. The pictures up on the wall. This is like the same picture. So, um, before we go into these rooms right here, I'm going to show you all a little like lounge slash dining area maybe. And we got a really cool bedroom over here. Let's check it out. All right, let's check out this bedroom. Look at this. And as you can see, it does have power. What a profile. Stuff on the wall. Little guitar right here. <laughs> Got some crocs on the ground or a croc. What's this book say? Car Fabulous Cars 50s. Nice. I read that all wrong. <laughs> Little teddy bear up here. This place is very interesting. I think I'm going to kill the light and give y'all a profile of it with just a house light on. Oh yeah. That gives it a little eerie feeling. Let's check some of this stuff out like this. <laughs> oh. 
RV vacations for dummies. It's so weird to see this place with full power. That's crazy. Interesting. You can see where a TV was right here. It's a very interesting room. Confidential. <laughs> Look at this. There's a tripod back here. And a boot. Got some clothes left. It's a pretty cool tie. Check out this bathroom with the natural lighting. Wow. All types of stuff left in here. Wow. This is crazy shelving for this bathroom. I guess whoever lived here was retired from the railroad. Whoa. Yo. Looks like this person worked at the church. This is crazy. That is awesome. I'm not sure exactly what church that's for. Somebody let me know, but that's really cool. Here's the bottom of the staircase right here. Got some tools up there. And as you walk back through, you can see this Dollar General bag, which is interesting. So they must have had a membership or something. Look at how old this is. This thing could be literally built in the 1700s. It's probably, I'm guessing, late 1800s, early 1900s. All right, we got a baseball glove up here. So somebody that lived here was either a fan or played baseball. And we got some more books and stuff. But check this out. There's all types of stuff on this little shelf back here. Look at that. Those are stacks right there. Check this out. All types of stuff on this piano. China cabinet and then before we look at the dining room in here you can see this house was going through renovations I believe and it was abandoned and it's completely caved in you can see that looks pretty cool over there but I can't even really reach it some kind of room in here too got some peppermints right here Check this out. So I'm assuming this is definitely a dining room. Or a lounge area maybe. But this is amazing. Look at that. Got some more pictures up here. In this little room. Look at all this stuff over here. It's actually crazy. All the china in the cabinet. And they just leave this stuff behind. 
The architecture right here is cool. Look at that. This house is full of that though. You got some pictures right here. Look at that. It's always a good time capsule when it has the last supper. Amazing. Some more keys in there to a car or something. Here it is with some natural lighting. Got some pictures on the wall. Here's the TV, and then there's some more pictures right here on this couch. All right, coming out of here, we're gonna check out this very interesting looking room. I'm really not sure what this is. Oh, I'm guessing this would be the main dining room? I'm not sure, but look at all this stuff. Wow, this is something. Look at this. Let's see what we got going on. There's so much in this room. Look at that. That is amazing. All types of stuff. This place is amazing. Look at this china cabinet. Kind of hard to get to it, but this is full of stuff too, as you can see. Oh, this floor isn't happy. Check out these metals right here. That is awesome. So many little knickknacks in here. For all my people that film places, how annoying is it trying to film stuff like this and the light blinding it? <laughs> so these are all track metals. So there was definitely someone that ran track that lived here. All right, now we're about to check out the kitchen. Been hearing some things about this. Starting off, got a cabinet up here. But let's see what we got going on. Oh yeah. Check this out without the light. That's the microwave over there. That is creepy. Here's the stove right here. Big old coffee maker. There's so much stuff in here. Look at that. Look at the decay. Oh, I hear bees. This is like a newer fridge, too. You guys know what we gotta do. Oh, yes. This is what I call a good fridge right here. 
Oh my gosh. What about the freezer? As you look at the completely caved in fridge right there. Wow. Look at the webs. That's crazy. And you see all the stuff in these cabinets. That's insane. But now, let's open this fridge up. Wow. Oh, there's spiders in there. You can see them moving. There's probably other stuff in there that I do not want to see. You see the staircase right there. And looks like another piece of kitchen back there, but I don't know if we can get to that. But yeah, this one's completely gone. They have three refrigerators. This is a huge family. Look at this. Wow. The spider webs really set off this haunted mansion vibe that this house has. You can see all the cups and stuff in there. As you can see, the microwave is working and open. And then you got the spider webs all over it too. That's something else right there. Oh, this is full of pots and pans. You know they were cooking in this house. Look at this. Wow. What a room. Now, coming out of that room. Wow. Look at this. You can see the renovations were taking place very heavily in here. As you can see, Still so much stuff though, look at that. That's crazy. Little shoes and pants and stuff in here. US Air Force. I wonder if someone that lived here was in the Air Force. Very likely. They squeeze through here. Well, there's more stuff in there. Yo, that's awesome. Wow. As you can see, more power. Even more stuff. This actually looks cool. You can literally see outside. That's crazy. Little tennis racket and stuff. Other little bedroom. This place is cluttered. Wow. What do we got over here? see where the TV would go it's filled with different artwork and everything There's keys on the wall right there Vaseline everything <laughs> not the flaming shirt that's cool right there Oh, 
Well, this seems to be a bathroom. You can see in the middle of renovation. Look at all of this. You know this house when all this stuff was put up. It was just amazing. I mean, look at this place. There's so much stuff everywhere. I guess this is like a little back um hangout spot a little den Oof. definitely had to get a better view of that a lot of stuff back here too check this out there's a little chandelier right here in it that's pretty cool there's a calendar in here from 2016 which makes sense because this place still has power, so it couldn't be that long abandoned. But look at all these books right here. That is insanity. That's just ridiculous. This was like a big hangout spot. This is probably where they watch movies at. All types of stuff. It's really hot right here. Nothing really in this room. What a house. As you can see. I don't know how much longer this house will last. Oh look. Games. Let me know if y'all played any of these. That's really cool. Oh wow. This would be a washroom for sure. And there's some type of room in here. But this floor is completely gone oh it's more of a washroom that floor is completely gone you can see the staircase through there that y'all saw earlier just peeking through there look at this all right so now we'll head up the stairs Let's see what we got going on up here apparently it's sketchy at the end of these steps so we will see This is the top. I guess that's what they were talking about. That's what used to be a room out there. I, I'm a fan of the pink wallpaper though for sure. Wow. Already lots of stuff up here. This is a raw reaction too. I have not seen this yet. Wow, it's just filled with stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool. Check that out. There's your reverse view of that. Whoa. We got to check this out. Another bedroom. This place is gigantic. Oh, this floor doesn't feel the best. Look at this. Man, these kids were spoiled. Look at this. I would kill to have this as a kid. Thing is detailed in there. That's pretty cool.
What a place. What's on this bed? Plugs. Like a stereo. I'm sure y'all saw that walking in and was screaming, you're missing something. <laughs> wow. Got a little dresser right here. This drawer is full of pennies. Check that out. Some type of bathroom. The TV in here. No, this is a closet. Wait, what? I'm confused. Got some clothes in here. This is a very tight space. Y'all gotta bear with me. Oh, okay. This makes sense. There's a toilet in here. Makes sense. Is there a bath? Oh, there is. There's a little shower that I can't reach. This place is tight. Okay. The way this thing opens is crazy. It's kind of hard to see anything in there. This is like a little closet for crafts and stuff look at all the nails on the wall they were hanging up tools in here it's pretty cool yeah definitely like a craftsman closet this was definitely the owners of the house bedroom for sure This is the biggest bedroom and it's got that type of stuff. All the other bedrooms must have been for kids. All right, so we got another little room. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's a bedroom. It's just got stuff everywhere. I'm gonna be sad when this house goes. Hopefully somebody will fix it one day, but there's no telling to be honest. All types of stuff in here though. I never thought when I was younger or even like up to a few years ago that I would see stuff like this, like this type of history. What's in here? Oh, bits and stuff. Yeah, I never thought I'd see this type of history. This stuff is amazing. And it's just left here and like most people don't realize what they're passing in their car. You're just driving, you just think, oh, it's an old house. It's probably empty. No, this thing has people's lives in it. Whoa. Bunch of cassette tapes. This place really is special. I really hope somebody saves it. I literally have the same pillow at my house, the black one. That's crazy to think that there's one here too. <laughs> this is just crazy. So we'll go across the hall. Oh, we got another bedroom. Oh wow, this one's my favorite. Yeah, this one's really good. I wonder if this was her bedroom. This one's got a bathroom too. This is a nice house. Like this is actually a nice house. Wow. Wait a minute. I can't tell, but I think that's in this house. That's awesome. Wow. What? Look at that. 
That's absolutely insane. Wow. Oh, it goes all the way down. Stuff on the bed. Wow. I wonder if these people live at this house and just... They have to know it's abandoned, right? But do they even know what, like, Urbex is and stuff like that? I wonder if they know that their house is just being explored. And their story's kind of being told, you know, what you can find of it. Another bathroom. I did see a medicine cabinet. So we'll try to see if something's in here. Look at this though. Let's see something. So the cabinet is actually painted shut. I think or it might just not open at all. I tried to cut these lights on, but they weren't having it. Got the china cabinet in the bathroom. This must have been put here for storage. Had to have been. Got some clothes in this drawer. That's really all there is in these. It's just clothes after clothes. That's why I haven't been really showing y'all them because you're, you've been seeing a bunch of clothes in this video. Check this out. That's so interesting looking. That's crazy. Some more stuff on the staircase. So bro found a flip phone. Nokia. Wow, that that's thing lasts forever, right? Oh yeah, they're <laughs> bricks, dude. So there's a Wii right here. I thought this was a router at first, but I guess not. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. So check out my friends down below. I do hope y'all enjoyed. I'll talk to you later. Peace out.